dance to take them all on. You got the measure of your man and you know that you can go all the way. Give it to him. Yeah, give him a taste. Give her, give her, give him a taste of kiwi. Show him you're the best. All right, no my hooky my welcome back to another episode of the Kiwi NRL podcast. Um, <laughs> big weekend, big weekend, how good. Um, today in the fuddy we have Sammy Brill, aka Optimus Brill, aka Hongi of Doom, how are you bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty slow, pretty slow. But Bungie of doom. But shit, what a weekend, man! Imagine like having the World Cup here a week like that. Oh, weeks of it. <laughs> Jeez, how good! Honestly, I, like as much as I feel like an absolute, you know, doorknob today, I just, I just can't believe how much of how a good weekend was in one of the best. One of the best. You missed out, Jace. You missed out, bro. I did. was. Hey, I made the game and everything. That's good. Yeah. But I was, bro, I was falling asleep on the way home. <laughs> bro, I was falling asleep everywhere and... You used to smack the espresso martini and get on with it. Oh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be slowing down on them for a while, though. <laughs> uh, Jay, how are you, mate? You good? Yeah, you good? no, I'm good. Hey, it was, it was a great weekend, actually. How was Ed Sheeran? Oh, insane. The ginger, eh? He's a, yeah. he's, bro, he's a performer, man. Yeah. He, um, he was... Ginger ninja. He just knows how to please a crowd. He, um... Pleased everyone. That's good. <laughs> nah, he um he was good. Had some technical difficulties, but well, you yeah, know that's always you know that's part of live music. I've been there. Okay, we had a lot of technical difficulties over the weekend. Oh, we had yeah. The, yeah apologies if you got onto the live at the yes. pub. The what internet was not, not the best. So, but hey, you get that with live. Yeah. Yeah. Live occasions, but you know. Um, what about you, Lenny? How's uh, how's the body today? How's uh, how's the mind? How's the you know, it took a battering over the weekend, but... Did you stop <laughs> it at um, CBK in the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's where I stayed. <laughs> Do you remember, took, that was a German chick that served us the night, first night before. We walked in and we're like, we blame you. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> she was there just on it the next night. Eh? No, she? no, she was working. Oh, she was working She again. was working and she looked at us and just laughed at us. I was like, shit. Man, I laughed. The funniest thing had to be that... Um, a crack up indigenous family we met. The oh first, yeah, the first night, but yeah. we couldn't remember meeting them when we seen them the second day. See, I didn't. I had. I had no recollection of. That. <laughs> Where were we, was it? In CBK. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one that you interviewed the second day. Yeah, you so met them before. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we, we went to the. Before. I think they turned up to that pub <laughs> because we said. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Come on down to the yeah. rock and wall. We're doing a podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the rest, and they're like, yeah, now it's crack I, up. I don't reckon it was sounded like that. I'm down to the rock and roll. There would have been some gibberish. <laughs> the rock and roll. There's definitely some gibberish smoke um, spoken on Friday night. Oh, yeah. All types of gibberish. Brillany is at its finest, too, I the think. O- the old um, sweet nothing, too. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> anyway, um, sweet. So, shout out to <laughs> our... <laughs> uh, shout out to our sponsors at FitZone once again for... Um, you know, providing us with the space, the space in which we need to work. Um, the safe space today. What am I going to plug? Don't, oh yeah, so if you had a massive weekend like we did, right, you've really punished yourself, put yourself to the ringer. Push the boat out too far. Push the walk away out. And um, you need to sort yourself out, then get down a fit zone. Oh, we haven't done them in a while. Done what? Fit zone. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> get down there and sort yourself out. That's yeah. what I did this morning. Get on the treadmill. Up at five, in the gym early, got it done. Beauty. Feel like a box of roses now. Box of fluffs. Uh, so get down there. All right. Um, it's back. The plug that they did not ask for, but they going to get today yes. is. Today it is Emerson's Super Quench Low Carb Pacific Pilsner. Four percentile, a little, little, little bit uh, softer than the stuff that we're drinking on the... That's not a espresso martini. Half the percentage of the uh, hazies we're having at oh, the what CBK. Was it? Hey, what was that one called? The orange oh, one. The orange one. Um, Next time we have um, Dre on, you should just actually do an espresso martini one. Oh, yeah, we'll drinks. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can't. Surely, surely there's one. But anyway... Um, we're talking about this Emerson's drop. So we thought yeah. we'd for something a bit lighter after... Yeah. 
A very hey, intense I like how that box opens. It is a cool box. Hmm, it's not a hairy box, but it's a... It's a well put together box, which cool. is what we like to see. So what, what have we got here? If you've been moving... Oh, jeez. If you've been mowing your super long lawn, running super fast, or out in the super hot sun, you'll need to super quench your super thirst. This Pacific Pilsner has been dry hopped with NZ and US hops to make it super tasty. While its light body and crisp finish make it super refreshing at just 4% and 40% lower in carbs, you can feel slightly smug too. Slightly smug. I like how they got the um the scale on there. Yeah. So multi. from multi to hoppy, it's like Quite hoppy. 80% hoppy, I'd light say. Light and, and a bit on the sweeter side. Yeah. So let's... Um, the Needham. Born and brewed. Let's shout, um shout out to Emerson. Yeah. Here are the dog. <coughs> Hits from the bar. Mm, not bad. Quite light, yes. That's actually good. That's good. <laughs> oh, you're having a beer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> well, you didn't hand me one, Lenny had to. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, I was like, I'm thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. That would be good. Actually, that's really good. That would be good after smacking the lawns down. Even a tough, tough game of footy. That'd actually be even good before the lawns. Far out. That's actually really good. I'm really enjoying that. And that's after a weekend on it, so. This is super quench it's also super nice. It's half gone already. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> already smoked it. Oh, shout out. That's good. That's bloody good. I don't know if, if my hands have got bigger or there. Is it hands? They feel like smaller. Uh, not the old. <laughs> 40% less cars because it's 40% smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says 330. It's still 330, but... No, that's actually really good. Yeah. Jeez, that's Nice work. Yeah, Emerson's. man. Emerson's. Well done. On ya. On ya. On ya all the way down in Dunedin. Done is. Even, even though it's been a hard weekend, this is still my favourite segment, eh? I don't, it's Great just, segment. It's good, eh? Just You're a bit off it earlier. You were thinking, yeah, yeah, oh, I, I don't know about that. Like, oh, I went into some dark places before. <laughs> but it's about what you do when you get to those dark places, yeah. you know. I found, I found it. I found my soul. I found, I found. I'm revitalized again. All right. Should we go to CBK for this? You <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Hang on. We do have the song. I probably might be able to play it again for a while. <laughs> no. Oh no, Phil. Where's the Phil, bro? Chamaori. All right. So, I guess we should, should we talk about the game or the or oh. the the pre and after. I th- I th- um, sh- sh- should, we, should we go start to finish? From the weekend? Yeah. No, well, no, just, I think it's just Saturday. Just Saturday, okay. Just Saturday, just because... <laughs> Can I start? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because one, once there's, 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 there's a block of time that, that, that a non-existence happened, so... Yeah, we'll go with Saturday. Yeah, go with Saturday. So what happened? Well, well, I came over Saturday morning, messaged the boys, make sure they're awake... Because we were supposed to do the uh, Rotorua F45 session <laughs> Yes At 6.30 in the morning um, but, um, What time did you wake up? About 7.15 Yeah And um, So I messaged the boys It was just me who said anything back with that Because I was already Yeah up. And then I asked how Sam was Because I knew oh, I, I, As soon as you texted I just I, It actually woke me up oh. Thankfully So Well I knew what kind of night Sam had So I asked how Sam was mm-hmm. And Lenny didn't even know if he was home the only reason I knew um, Dre and Timo were home is when I <laughs> went into the lounge, they were lying on the smallest couch together, <laughs> and I was like, not if this... <laughs> it's just so funny, the video. We should really post it. F45, more like F45 degree angle on the couch. <laughs> and we had they, there was four spare beds. Four spare beds in the other room. Apparently, the, um, Timo said Dre was asleep. Early in that night, sitting on the up chair, on, a, on, on, a a chair. A, on a plastic chair with his he- head like arched back. Shout out to Timo and uh, and the bro Dre for a for a eventful night. <laughs> yeah, so that's how that started. But then I was going to meet um, the owner of the Ruck and Mall at eight o'clock. So then I kind of dusted myself off. Looked like a fiend hanging I out there. Had a shower? No, because he said. A, a Did you have a shower? Yeah. Oh, true. But I don't know why I put the same clothes back on, <laughs> um, which is. <was> <laughs> I was still. <laughs> 
I was still in a t- some type of way, so I had a shower, <laughs> and then I jumped in the truck because yeah, I had to be there at eight a.m. at when Rackenmore opened in the morning because that's when the boss was going to be there, yeah. right? And the staff member said, "Just come back in tomorrow at eight. He's always here at eight. So I got there about ten to eight. Looked myself in the rear view, like in the truck. Did not look good. Terrible. So I was just I gave myself the self talk. <laughs> Just hold it together. You've got, you've got this, Lenny. You've got, you've got this. Five minutes of the best, and you can like give yourself a few hours of moping around after that. So then I'm there, and there's a few other um, colourful individuals waiting outside for the pokies and that to open <laughs> at 8 a.m. <laughs> so you, you 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 slid right in there perfectly. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I've, I was hanging out with them out front, and then <laughs> when the staff member finally opened the front door, uh, the boss had not gone in that day, so. <laughs> That was a so little bit good. of a waste of time. <laughs> but then we got CBK for the breakfast. And those eggs were good. Scrambled eggs, yes. But <laughs> I was still in the same clothes. Yes, it was weird that I had a shower and got straight back into them, but I was not thinking straight. So It's all part of the journey, though. It yeah. is, you also it didn't even know what day it was. How long had we slept? Well, you slept. But and yeah. Yeah, so that was good. And then... Um, <laughs> What do we? Oh yeah, then we just got ready basically for the um, the live potty down at the Rock and Mall. Pretty sure Timo was still drunk when I arrived. Yeah, we, he would we, have been. we all were. Well, yeah, but I know I definitely was. I wasn't because I drove. So <laughs> he was actually sober that night. So mm. yeah, um, he just went hard on coffee. <laughs> so yeah. the Rock and Mall. <laughs> that, what a spot! It's what a good. spot, eh? Shit, it's it was cool. It's a good little setup there. Shout out and to the Rock and the, the um, league jerseys all around. All the league yeah. jerseys, paraphernalia. Bit of history in that. Bit of history, eh? Yeah, and then uh, where we set the potty, if you watched last, the last episode we put up from the weekend with the big Warriors mascot mm. and on the DJ yeah. booth. and the oh, yeah. What a setup! And just have, you know, the races are on, the footy was on. It's hard not to get excited. That was a great after, like, the yeah, Rock and was a good spot. So shout out again for the team there letting us host our do our live podcast from there yeah. and then um, letting us back in later on <laughs> <laughs> live potty we'll, we'll get there later live potty um, one thing I was a little bit of gut about we, I reckon we, sh- we, sh- we needed to leave a little bit earlier see the yeah. Wah- Wahine game yes eh? that was um, but yep. you know what it's like when you had a yeah. group of group of people lads and then a few more tacked onto the group just get excited eh it's just they get excited and then it's just one more beer first one more beer first, and then we're like, because you, you did that, you're like, oh, sh- bro, we'll just cap it now. And then, and then you like looked around, you're like, oh, one more beer. <laughs> it wasn't even that, and then it'd be like, oh, this, the big race is about to go. Oh, yeah. we need to watch this race, and then we'll just finish this beer. Hey, I'm just happy Jace got us rounded. Hey, good on you, mate. <laughs> of good course, on you. good on you, brother. Always. Then out to the game. How out good was ga- it? Yeah, shit. I thought. I think just walk, walking in. No matter what, what, what it is, you know, we we, we are a Maori, you know, Kiwi and Eric podcast. It wasn't a, it wasn't just for the Maori. It was no, for, um, Aboriginal man. It was it, the the culture that you like, kind of felt there was mean. Yeah, like yeah. it was it was actually quite not, um, quite emotional too. Yeah, just, just, hard out. just because the the whole purpose behind it, and you know, and and just because Rotorua is very cultural in in, in Maori, and it was just. I think you just got. I just got caught. I got caught in it. Definitely, it was epic. Mm. So good to have it in New Zealand yeah. um, for a t- for a turn. Hopefully, it stays here. Didn't get too many streakers. Oh, that killed it. I reckon. <laughs> like it was kind of funny, but then there was a part where I was like, "Oh no, stop doing it now." Because we're because we're, we're, we're a chance to 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 win the game. The pressure was on us. The like, best part was that kid, live TikTok or whatever, and then getting smoked. Got smoked. Now people booed the thing, but I'm like, people booed the old security guard. Yeah, oh, so so I'm fifty fifty because you could have just grabbed him by the scruff and nicking him. Nah, man, fair game. Nah. it's like bull rush. Nah, I reckon kid. it's fair. He's, he's it's a, a fair game, man. Hey, that kid ran out there. Oh, it was pretty good. It was pretty elusive. So if you were, mm. if you had the chance not to smoke that little kid, because <laughs> <laughs> I would no, my morals would tell me not to do it. <laughs> you got too good of morals. I, I do. I okay, we should I do a poll now. Insta. <laughs> Who's got the highest? <laughs> mo- no, I would have smoked them. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I would have just go, oh, cunny, just you know. Oh, it was so good. Because <laughs> he's going to get smacked up by his bloody someone at Outback anyway, surely. Outback. <laughs> out the back. Out the back. Oh. You should, you should have seen the row of kids because it was because I ended up walking over to that corner yeah. with, with um, um, Dre and his mates. And we, we, like, we saw it right close. And then all of a sudden, it was this big wave of kids running over. Jebada! Jebada! And just following him out the back of the um, stadium. <laughs> oh, and no. the cops had him and straight in the back. And I was like, oh, you poor kid. But what a story. Smashed him, yeah. bro. Surely that gets on the crowd goes well tonight. Oh, surely, surely. 
they'll be mean. Um, one part of the game I really, really enjoyed actually, you know, obviously the hacker and oh, you know, Aboriginal we got to talk about that more, and and because that was just shit, that was cool. That hacker was insane. Yeah, it yeah. was cool. Had but a lot it, of moving parts to it, which was pretty cool. Mm. But f- one thing for me was was real cool is just how interactive the players were at the end as well. They just didn't bugger off, mm. you know. Right, but they yeah. like, you know, they took the time and stuff like that, and that's what that is sort of about. Is just you know, yep. I agree. I agree, mate. It was, um, geez, it might get bloody. With his old cyclone Gabby's turning up. <laughs> Gabs, <laughs> Gabs. Shut Gabs. Shut out Gabs. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, the hacker was epic. I loved it. I had the old Kapaka. Jokers with the tie hard too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that, yeah. Was, that was sick, eh? And then how they gave them to the players and yeah. the players had them. Yeah. And then like, did they yeah. have, um, they went out to the iwi, did they? Yeah, so they do it with the other times too. So they kind of break off into like the iwis a bit. Which is cool when they come forward, yeah. And even the um, the, the Aboriginal war cry, whatever. That was that, cool. That was good. Walk, walk. Uh, and they had face paint on. Yeah, I like. I liked that. Well, yeah, that yeah, was awesome. It was um, yeah, they did good, especially when it was like face to face. Um, the game, the, the game, game, yes, close game, hectic game. Um, so it sort of went away from what our thoughts were, really. I think, in terms of yes, we had the better forward pack. But it, sh- it just showed what a, a six and a seven t- in, in your team can do. Yeah, to, real to, to class c- to control that. Whereas I think the L two played good. Yeah, I thought I, I that a lot of players in that Kiwis team. Docker Clay was Docker Clay was so up, good. Yeah. Uh, was it Paul bloody uh, Paul turn, Turner? Paul Turner. PT. He he did turn up. And w- one guy we sort of not, not, I'm going to say criticised because that's not the right word, but you know Morgan Harper. Well, we talked about it quite a bit. You know, a pool cleaner. He, he's on the wing, man. I, I think. I think. That's, I think he plays. I prefer him on the wing. I he had some I solid runs, man. Yeah, and he he's got the hair for it as well. Yeah, no, he was good. Um, but yeah, I just think when the indigenous boys move the ball. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's just one of the things like Heinz gets the ball and you're like, shit. Heinz tried yeah. by himself. Heinz it's like it's like when you watched um Heinz fine try like Melbourne oh, Storm shit, when good. they had that ultimate spine and you're like, what are they going to do now? Uh, Trail was pretty quiet, but man, yeah. Nico just ruled the roost. It was oh. just proves why he's the best. He's so good. Yeah. yeah, that try and then just yeah, even Cody was good. Like just the fluency of how they the back line worked. I think we were a little bit clunky and on yeah, our back for line sure. A bit. I, th- I think it's got found wanting on the edges. Yeah, quite a, a bit. bit. Yeah, especially on that left edge. But you know that's because that's the side that Jack Whiten was on, mm. and um, it was it was yeah that that it exploited that quite easily. So. I think a lot of our young forwards stepped up too, um, had good games. So mm. overall, spectacle. So what's it? Is Jordan Apana was good too. He played well. Yeah. Jordan Ricky, man, he he. Oh, he had a he had a sh- stunner. He had a stunner. And actually, his, his um cousin, eh? Is it is it um? Co- I don't related? know if they're related, yeah. but no, Preston Ricky. Preston. Shit, he had a good game. He had a good game, bro. Shit, yeah. Even that um. Who else came? Oh, is that Diaz? Eh? Diaz, yes, Austin Diaz. Man, he was good, bro. Where's he at? Cowboys, eh? Yep. Oh, no. Was it Cowboys? Oh, oh we have to And even um, Simpkins. Oh, even, even let Leo Thompson and, yeah. you know, the, all the players that were kind of... The, the like interchange more like, players, yeah. More like fringe players in the NRL. Because that, um, cause we talked about it, uh, how... Uh, who, who was playing nine old... Um, Corey Hutterwood Co- and Ida. And then he obviously didn't play there because um, Docker Clay ended up playing there, didn't he? So. I think they they switched around in moments. Yeah. But Corey was usually taking that first... He, he was getting the ball first off him. Yeah. So... Yeah. Corey hit me in game two. No, he went hundies, always does. Obviously, taps. Yeah, there's a cu- there's a moment, a couple of moments where we had our arrows coming out of our half in that yeah. second half yeah. where we were like starting to really pump. I think we had, just especially, like, especially, especially in that 40. And, and yeah, and just yeah I think 40. we had two in a row where we had yeah. more we than just half starting a drop to drop it. And then, and Rus- luckily, we got indi- we, we held indi- indigenous. Now, Fisher Harris dropped one too, quite, yeah. quite, quite critical. Right at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shish, shish kebab. And then, yeah, Royce Hunt. Just got the ones in the ribs. Ooh, it wasn't that guy spook. standing next to us, and when he was hitting it up, he yelled out, Kia Kaha. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he got it, he lost it, and he was like, Fwah. <laughs> <laughs> That guy was funny behind us, man. He yeah. was, and then, what did he say to his kid? He's like, You go down there, and then keep on walking. <laughs> maybe that's what, that's maybe what I need to do. <laughs> that near my babysitters. I tell them to keep walking. Uh, Brent any quarter was good. Um, I think all our forwards were, were played played really well. well. The NRL did a like fan voted mm. poll. It was pretty much all our forwards. All our forwards and, and then all their, all their, yeah. all their backs, yeah. which is kind of cool. 
Yeah, I didn't really think. I just thought we might be too dominant up front that they wouldn't get the chance to. Yeah. To spin it how they like they did, but they definitely did. But the, the game, like even the stats in the game, which we can go to, were pretty similar, right? Like, where we got position fifty fifty nearly yeah. fifty two forty two to uh, forty eight to us. Time in position. We Ooh. had the ball more. Yeah. Oh, only by a couple of minutes though. Completion rate. Minutes, yeah. 72% for us and 70 for them. Head dog. That's pretty even, man. The, yeah. the whole, part, whole We we had 186 runs. They had 168. They had... Oh, we had 1,715. Look, look, look at that stat down below, though. Right. Meters. Look, look at that stat down below. Um, 48 to 27. We had 48 to tackle breaks. Yeah, Whoa, to 27. I didn't see that one. That's, that's through the forwards. Man, that's hectic. Um, also, Jesse Arthur's played well. Though. I was just about to say Jesse is the man. He just he just didn't tackle Cobo. Yeah, got, he, he, he did. He got, he got the fender down. He got the. But Cobo does it. Would do that to most people. Unfortunately, mm. <laughs> this is a great coaching. It's a great coaching he's getting from Kevy now. <laughs> um, Trouble. And we obviously kicked them back into their end a lot because they ran like twice as far with kick return meters. Yeah. Average, we had a quicker, oh, yeah, see, it was anyone's game, man. It was just. And, like, we got that try right at the end, and we just had a chance. We had a chance. Yeah, it was pretty desperate stuff, though, when you still need to try at that point. Yeah. I mean, there was that intercept from Cobo was, like, you're taking that away that probably, but, you know, he can't. Mm. He can't take it away. Two forced error tries, too. As credit, well. to, credit to the Cobo, but he's made a few errors at the start. Yeah. And then he obviously got 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 into the groove. Got a hat trick. Got a hat trick. Got a hat five. Got a hat five. Could have. Uh, sweet. All right. Uh, what else we got there? Kicking. Meh. Forced dropouts. We had none. They had two. Well, that goes down to halves, I'd say. Bombs. Yeah, they they done six grubbers. We only done four. We had more effect, effective tackles. We made. Missed tackled, missed nick, missed twenty seven. They missed forty eight tackles. We got two intercepts. They got one. That there's obviously turned into a try. Yeah, did. they had a lot more on effective tackles. Errors even, pretty much fifteen fourteen. Penalties given away, five to three. All that hurts a little bit. Ruck infringements. Oh, right. uh, really breaking it down. Like and that actually just shows you know, the score reflects the stats perfectly yeah. fine, and you know and. Just it shows that errors actually with it, with it, with it, with their actual changes that little bit in the yeah. end yeah so that. but all in all I th- I think for that game as well just because of a lot of players pulling out and then all of the you know we got to see a lot of up and coming players which is perfect yeah. for us like I said it heaps before and uh, and we actually we can talk about these guys in confidence now yeah and actually, actually got to see them run around mm. yeah that Nicholas Hines guy could see him run around Nicholas Nicholas. Rapana, man, he got every kick though. That was good. That's right. The toe hack of doom. I see that to him. On, I said him to him that night. But that's Did the, you? Yeah. <laughs> said was toe, he, was toe he? pokes of doom. He was there for a little bit. I can't remember. In moments, oh, yeah. Okay. The, um, the bro on this, this to the right of us, we were on this um, grandstand. He was giving him the good hoodoo though. The hand gestures. <sighs> and he was a Missy Tittle guy though as well. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this guy that um, when. Nico Hines went to kick. Just started this Missy Tittle. And then hold the Tittle bit. Held it for like, what, nearly two minutes, eh? It was for him to kick it, basically, if he could. It was so good. And must, then Must have worked, though. Then next kick, everyone around us, even like the lady in front of us, was like, Missy Tittle. <laughs> oh, how good. Can't beat a good Missy then Tittle. We, um, oh, should, we carry, should we carry on the talk, then? Yeah, so what happened after the game? So uh, we, we so the the the, bro- the breathers left day. Eh? Yeah, we went. We dropped you off. Yeah, it dropped us off. We went to CBK. Did Sick, we go? Second home. Yeah. I don't second know. Home. No, you don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you. Um, went to CBK, and we we blamed our lovely waitress for uh, the night from from the night before. Yeah, we still continued to make the same errors. Yes. So so I did, uh, I think the thought after that was maybe that's probably our fault. <laughs> made the same errors. Um, <laughs> but that's what you train for. <laughs> that's what we train for. But geez, the uh, oh what. Those 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 buddy uh, orange juices we're drinking, mate. The hazies were flying. I didn't see any orange juices in your pictures. The martinis were oh, flying. Oh, the martinis, and then then we then we went to a karaoke bar, didn't we? We went to a karaoke spot. Um, Did you get up? 
We, we, well, had, we had a sing song, didn't we? Surely. No, we no, we didn't. But um, oh, we just, I think we just screamed along with everyone. Else. Everyone had, well, the thing I was about to say. <laughs> it's the first um, karaoke bar I've been to where you cannot hear the person who's got the microphone. It wasn't like bad singing; like everyone was just singing at the same time. I think, I think everyone was just having a good time, eh? Yeah, and it's just it's crack it because it's the first karaoke bar I've been to where it's like you cannot hear the person with the microphone. For sure, I was a soul white chocolate chip in there. Yeah, yeah, you were probably. Yeah, I stood out. I think stood out a little bit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that old macadamia. No, it's all right. I had a good, I had a good few yarns with the few of the. Well, there you locals. go. You always go right. Yeah, I didn't want a bit of a yarn. No. Um, and then when we, we, and then we, oh, at, when we left CBK, Cobo came. Eh? He, 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 That's he was, right. He, he was lurking around. He was lurking around, and I was, and we're like, yeah, bro. <laughs> well, again? then he asked, what, "What did he say again?" Um, he just asked what we're up to. Yeah, we're up to. Yeah, 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 because. I think he wanted he wanted to obviously leave where he was to go find somewhere else, and then there was not much house open, not much which doing. Was a bit random. Yeah, it was karaoke bar, and then after that we had a few in there, maybe. You yeah, had a couple of be- couple of bevies in there naturally, yep. and then managed to get into the ruck and mall mm. for the official after party with the teams. Cheers to the bro for that. Aaron Albert got us in there. To be fair, then the the bouncer knew who we were though. Yeah, he said, you know, the podcast boys. So we gotta, we're getting a bit of a name for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully not. It wasn't because of Friday night, but yeah. we're the podcast boy. <laughs> um, and then as soon as we get in there, then bloody boom. Well, there they are. There. Do you know the, this is me when I walked straight in. Okay, so we walked straight in. Right in front of me was Clinton Torpy talking to Nico Hines, and I'm thinking, this is mad. <laughs> like, you, you're not in Wonderland now, are you? And I fully, uh, <laughs> rudely interrupted them and then introduced myself to both of them. Yeah, which is great. <laughs> I'm the podcast guy. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you, there was one guy that was having a blast of a time, and I had, a, I had a few yarns with him too. Old Albert Kelly. Albert Kelly, he was ha- there. Oh, he was, you know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. He was just, having, he just, was just enjoying himself. It was, it was good to see those guys like and and, and like humanize in, in an mm. environment like that. It was good to uh, see um, the fish smile for a photo. Oh yeah, <laughs> to the fish. But no, it was um, I, I got I got I got yarning to old uh, Shaq Sh- Shaq Mitt. Shaq Mitt. Um shout out to Shaq Mitt. Yeah, man, he was good, good, good follow. What's good, he good, like? Good, good, good yarns, man. I just, said, I just pretty much said, "Hey, bro, love your story." You know, oh, like, mm. yes, yes, I'm a Ruder supporter. And he went, hey. and then I was <laughs> like, <laughs> but I said to him, you know, but you know, I, you know, I love your brother. Your brother's a mean player, and you know, I respect what you fellas do. And and then he was, he, we we had a pretty good yarn all night to be here, and he was, he was a good fella. So, shout out, brother. Shout out to Shaq Matt. Who else? Who else? Well, I had I had a bit of a um, fangirl moment with James Fisher Harris. So that was good. <laughs> Introduced him, but no, it was really good to chat to actually. Yeah, he actually asked what I'd been up to, so that was cool. Oh, you just uh, trying to remember what I did last night? <laughs> I've been up to. I've got no idea, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and Nico, man, shit, he was a he was a good fella to yarn to too, man. Like down to he, earth. Like he, he was he was just just a humble fella. Just just hip, like man, you should see the following head around head around him. I know, like like a halo of. Something and it was, yeah. The funny thing was, like, he wasn't. Oh, he's just such a genuine like yeah. person. He's just yeah. like not trying anything crazy. He's just, enjo- like, you know. Man, you it was know. it was cool, man. It was it was quite it was quite, it was quite humbling to to meet them like in that in, in that way, not just you know, in a forced you know environment after a yeah. game or you know, hey, hey, hey. it's like, bro, you want to be? Like, hey, yeah, we're the podcast guys. How did you find that game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it was who else was there? Uncle Bully was there too. <laughs> Hada Wada Nida Hada Wada Nida was there yeah. He was an, it, it was all He was a blank tap Tanked off one day He just I oh, was in a white one wasn't it Was it a white one Yeah oh. and he had the uh, The Uso bag Yeah 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 the shoulder. So he was broed up hard I was like Short Oh too time. much Did Was he wearing a white shirt Or a white singlet White singlet White yeah. singlet White singlet That's right I think he had uh, He may have had his slides on <laughs> He did eh He did <laughs> Cheer Nigga Ryder Yeah and then who else is there? Oh, Jordan, Jordan Ricky, he's good yeah. as to chat too. Shit, he was a good. Ch- and um, and, and his brother, uh, cousin Preston, had a good yarn with him too. Are they actually cousins? Yeah, I think so. Uh, sure. Who else is there? Paul Turner had a chat to him. Yeah. Leo Thompson had a chat to but him. But he was a good fellow actually. Yeah, he's good as to chat too. Jeez, he's got the jaw of doom, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> what did you guys get up to? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Just, just, I was just like, oh, big hit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is there? Um, Jesse Arthurs is a good yeah, fella. Jesse Shout out to Jess. Perfect part of here. Had a, had a bit of a yarn to him. He was wearing his cap, mate. Did you tell him? Why did you leave? Just, um, oh, oh, Selwyn was there. Yeah. Like, Selwyn Cobbs, yeah. The yes. corner of the cop was there. 
I thought you guys said that. Yeah, no, no, but oh, like he, he, he came he came back, and he was just you know it, I don't know what land he was in, but <laughs> he was having a good time, man. Man of the long white cloud, bro. Yeah, yeah. was um. But the, all, all the brothers were saying, especially Albert, he kept kept coming up to me. He's like, "Fuck, two brother, two, I, I, I love Rotorua. Road, Road. I'm I'm coming back here." I was like, "Sweet as man, all good." Wait till you see Mata Mata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, um, oh, who else was it? Who was could score down? Uh, Tyrone Peachy. He was on form. Tyrone Peachy was doing some decent work. Decent, decent work, man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. To be fair, so were we. Yeah. Um, it, was, it, was, it was good to see all the like in in the Wahini Wahini girls as yeah, well. Yeah, a lot of the girls you know, from the um, from the girls game. Yeah, had a few yarns to them. There was, you know, they probably didn't want to talk to me, but anyway. Which ones did you talk to? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I tried to talk to Jasmine, but didn't have <laughs> She is focused elsewhere. Yeah, um, fair enough too. Um, anyway, it was, it was um, Gail. Is it Gail Broughton? She wasn't out. She wasn't, she wasn't out. Oh, she, she was. seems like a real good. Was she? Nah, she. I, I oh. can't remember seeing her. Mate. Nah. It was just mad, like so, and because it was in the Rock and Mall too. Like yeah. I had that real conversation with the fish next to the kiosk. <laughs> the TAB kiosk. So it's quite, was it quite senti- sentimental for oh, you? Oh, it was just like, <laughs> my life is together. <laughs> and even we're... Um, bro, you're getting on at the... Uh, Sorry, bro. <laughs> can you just go... Are you getting on at Cranji? <laughs> we're a good time for end of Cranji too, wouldn't it? You're getting on Menangle because <laughs> you're kind of in the way. But when, even when I walked dogs. in, like when I said earlier when I walked in, Nico and Clinton like were in the... They weren't in the pokies. I was just like on the entrance into the pokies. Yeah, by, that, by, by, by that kiosk yeah. thing. What a time to be alive, shit. Also, I don't know if you've seen him that night, but um, the night before you seen met Remus Smith's old man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Good looking. And, re- and he remembered us just, uh, the, uh, walking back. <laughs> so <laughs> That's what me and Lenny were talking about. He's like, he's a good looking man. And I, like, you'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Hey. He was. Uh, very tall. But Remus Smith's quite tall. Yeah, like, that guy was a man. Where do we see him? CBK, eh? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah oh, I t- Fuck I tell you what, my best, Probably one of the best Parts of the night Was that um, Husband and wife Singers and the, uh, Oh the first night CBK first What was the name is it? Oh, You got your card Yeah but we left it At the place Oh um, did you Surely you'll be on The CBK website or Anyway something. great singers Gee she was, she was awesome eh? Yeah Great night That's the part I do remember Went down to So Bar as well After that We oh, don't know about that one We kind of Memory wise We kind of tapped out At that point so there's also there's a photo evidence of it. So there's also a great video of Sam lining up his um, McDonald's order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's both of us, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you're just yarning, like ordering it, and then you see Sam. I'm <laughs> just, I'm 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 just gonna, I'm trying to compose think, myself. Think of the words that you got to. Yeah. How do I say this? <laughs> I think I was just licking my lips. I was like, nom noms, you know. So good. You cannot beat it. Does anything <laughs> beat the Maccas after when you're on it? Well, you didn't even know you got Mac as a person. <laughs> no, but nothing beats it at the time. You yeah, can still, you can still remember that feeling. <laughs> the amount of times that we, like we've been on it and we have got the Mac is Mac is on the way home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but in my state, I just have to go with I just say Big Mac just because. I heard you ordered a double Big Mac combo. <laughs> we double Big Mac I, in the video. Urgh. Double Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Dealt to that shit. One thing. One thing I can't get past. It's how we took two separate taxis the f- first night home. I think it wasn't my one. <laughs> well, questions that uh, probably cannot be answered by anyone. <laughs> there's only four of you. I know, there's Three. two. Four of you. Four. Four, so we are split into two. Why? I think Dre and you and Dre were together. I think oh, Tim probably. and I were together. Probably. Anyway, two taxis back. Cost us twice as much as what we probably needed to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, place, though. Cool. Uh, accommodation, like yeah. a nice place on the beach. Oh well, Surely it was yeah. It was a real nice com- accommodation actually. It was turns, um, out, turns out it had a toaster. <laughs> oh man, that just shows you what state I was in. <laughs> it was right in front of my face for three hours and I couldn't see it again. Couldn't see the toaster. <laughs> all, I all, all, was a of toast. all I wanted was a mum item bread, man. Come <laughs> on. Um, um, but Rotorua, great, great city to have that um, challenge. Yeah, man. It was, it was just yeah, I like Rotorua. Yeah, a lot of the indigenous boys coming out, saying like. Because obviously there's a lot of it around when you go to the Auckland Airport and in Auckland and stuff like that, but they, that's where they predominantly go, mm. like when they come to New Zealand because of when they play. Yeah. But in Aotearoa, it's like quite in your face, like a lot of the Māori stuff. Yeah. yeah. So for the Indigenous boys, are like that's that's what they want kind of inspire for their, 
for their culture, you know. For their mobs and stuff like that, yeah, so. So, no, it was cool. Bloody good. Cracking, crack, absolute cracking game. So um, That was good. Any, oh. Anything else to say about the Maldives game? The touch game was brilliant. Actually, that was real cool. Yeah. Draw. And then the girls, shot the girls getting up. Yeah. Getting up. Uh, that was a good battle too, so. Gail Broughton got the player of the match, whatever it is that. She's good, man. Mm. Like, even even Sevens, she was amazing and. I, I think she elevates and um, the old um, it, it suits her game to Kiwi Queens were there too. A few of them, yeah. Yeah, Ruby oh. Tui in that. Oh, Stacey, Stacey was Waka. Ruby Tui there. Yeah, yeah. Stacey Walker was out too. Walker and that uh, Stacey Flula. Flula, sorry, sorry. sorry. Flula, yeah. And I seen uh, Ni- Nia Williams, Tony Bill's sister. Didn't yeah. see old Blurry out that night. No, no, he wasn't out actually. He might have went back home. Might have mm. been too tired from. Well, he li- Running he the waters. He lives there, so. Oh, not in Oxford, but in Auckland, so. Yeah, it's probably close enough for him to take yeah. off. Uh, and it also, without throwing him under the bus, because he missed it. <laughs> it's always, it's he also, didn't. It's also come to. Um, so, I know he didn't. I was just saying. I was just oh. about. You, oh. So, what you've done is ruined yep. my whole little thing I was about to say. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Blairy. <laughs> no, I was just saying. Without Pro- I'm probably going to throw him under the bus. I well, didn't mean him. I was just leading into who I was talking about. Sorry. Take two. I'm probably going to throw him under the bus. But missing the bus. But uh, Isaac Luke <laughs> apparently missed the bus the next morning. All the players are saying they had to get flights at like 6 a.m. Yeah, far out like 6 a.m. They kicked us out of the pub at 3 a.m. Was it? So it was 3 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, thought so. And, and they interviewed Nico Hines, obviously just... When they got on the other side and I was thinking... Jeez. He must be dusty, <laughs> but he's like a champion. Just yeah, how I still had the red eyes of doom. But how was your day? Yeah, the podcast boys, eh? <laughs> yeah, the podcast. Oh, yeah, very good. All right. Um, well, I just can't wait to the, all the next podcast things we do. Mm. Bloody good. Yeah, I can't wait to even just like do a Wars game in that. Yeah, Wars versus Roosters. We're going to get that together for sure. And I got to fly back up, don't I? Yeah. Um, the I Talking League boys are going to the Waz vs Bulldogs And that will actually be a mean game Bulldogs are looking good well, If you watch that trial, yeah. so will we Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Going into that, that gets, gets us in yeah. too The next part, the next segment We'll preview the trials, or a little bit of the yep. trials So we'll get into the trials and we'll do some we'll r- random song oh, that'll, do. that'll do I'll probably use that later for best bet Yeah Double up. It's um. I'll, br- I'll bring it up and bring it up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Bump the other. So one. obviously, the first first trial of the weekend was the the Warriors. So the was, I'll, the I'll, 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 I'll let you fellas uh, digress that one because yes, that's our boys. I'll let you. I mean, there's a few standout shit. Um, Montello and Montoya after he could have got four tries. Yeah, because he, he dropped that first dropped one. That try I, that I, was I, I try. hear. That, that, uh, what's his name old uh, That he bumped Staines Staines he, he, he's, st- he's still finding his way Back to the bus too Like bully <laughs> Missed the bus Jeez he got bowled by one That was yeah. beauty They'll be replaying that all year that all, that, that, like, And it happened to, It was a, a second try Of the competition effectively But Yeah yeah, That was and, a good uh, bump So yeah well, Except for that bumble At the start He had, yeah. he had an epic game we, Who else we say Oh Tom Alley Had a good game eh? Yeah Tom Alley Tom Alley and Obviously, I think, um, I think one of our favourite players of the um, what's his name, Billy Army. Billy Army played pretty good too. Oh, bro, he actually. Um, um, yes, we need to talk about that man. He's yeah. Well, yeah. Brad, is it Braden or Brad? Brad, Brad, is that? Oh, was it just got B there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, man, he was silky. Yeah, he was good. And then um, was it Vasu Valangi or um, Jeez. He was a four. I remember the um, fourteen came on and hissed. Yeah. You pass Even 17, um, LeBan, hey, Jacob. L- Laban, who was the one that came Laban. on and got those three tackle breaks in that one run? Oh, that's... Uh, that is that, Mark. Um, oh, yeah, that 14, Ma- isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? I can't see it. My own. Yeah. I, I My own. He was... That was a good run. It just shows... And what about... Uh, should we have a oh, Vagana. How big is he? Oh, man. He, he, <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a bit of a timber frame that Joker is. Mate. And, and then w- even you've got... Um, Nathaniel Roach's twin. Yeah. Yeah. Played. Paul. And then uh, you like you really like Darcy Lussick's game, didn't you? Yeah, I, I thought so. After he got smashed by old... Uh, it was like a two-and-one, because he got the forearm followed by... Was it by the captain old... Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Is that Pulley? It, it is, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Pulley. Um, he got absolutely smacked. And he, he, 
Bought it and all. <laughs> took it. Took it. Back and, up. And, and, and then tried to, tried to yeah, knock it on. Took the first hit up. Put the pressure on the two two next kicks, the next sets, which set us up, set the boys up to yeah. effectively win. So. And then, I mean, um, talking about pressure on kicks, you yeah. got to go back and watch um, Timothy Martin's game, man. Shit. Mm. And like having um, the effort areas of Timothy Martin, if you go back and watch it, like a few of the passes were a little bit dicey, but you know they're still working that out. But man, effort areas, which and um and just oh, Metcalf, oh, yeah, man, he's quick around that. It's man. so good seeing those far out, some like halves like that, like. Mm. I'm excited to see how Sh- Sean Johnson goes this week. Yeah. Um, oh, two old picky as well. Two old picky out the back. The Did you see um, fullback? He was. What epic. time the game is this weekend? No. What? Two fifty on a Sunday. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. You got kids though. But how you got kids? That's right. Um, but now boys played good. Tomate was this. He was. He was like smooth and sleek. Yeah, and oh yeah, and just before half time. There was that kick that was looked like it was pretty much going to go dead. Yeah. The sir- the siren for half time had already gone. We kicked. He had no need to keep chasing it, but he chased it to the absolute death, which straight away I was like, oh, I like that. And it almost could have been a try if that's the other right. guy didn't. But that's what you want. Mm. And it's a good example to the young fellas. Yes. About pushing. Just just the the ball's not, the, the bounce of the ball is still, still going to bounce. It's not over yeah. till it's bloody yeah. over. You know? <laughs> that's, that's what they say. You keep pushing up. And I think, um, yeah, love, love what Tamati done. And he just... You like the... Um, the way he moves, like the way he plays, is like very like. There's like he doesn't freak out. Yeah, which mm. I yeah. like. He's very just composed, level composed, headed, collected. Um. So yeah, that was good. Um. The boys, they did good. Yeah. You exactly. like you like the refing in that game, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I th- I thought she officiated very very well. She 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 kept the flow of the game and and actually the ruck speed was was great. And yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I, bl- I, I agree. And it's um it, coming from me, a referee uh, praising a referee is really really hard. Okay, so but you have to when they do a good job. Oh, absolutely. So I, I saw that, and I think that's only good good for her and, and, and her promotion in the game. So, oh, going back to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> now talking about referees. Um, who was the referee in there? Gavin Badger. Gavin Badger had a good what? yarn to him. Was he in there? Yeah, man. What so a good fella. So he was part of the Indigenous camp. Oh, true. And his job there that night was just make watching and making sure you know yeah. if anyone does anything. But he just pull them out, <laughs> and you're off back. You're to out. The, you're back to the hotel, mate. <laughs> but yeah, a good chat to him. Because I'm pretty, yeah, pretty sure he's retired from. Yeah, he's retired from referring yeah. that. So I was just having a yarn to it, man. It was cool. Um, um, probably these games we didn't watch too much of. Because he was just actually now go back to. He was just yeah, standing okay. there, and then no one was really like talking to him. Because he's a ref. Yeah, no, but <laughs> I was like, L- and then Lenny came in. Have you heard of us? I just started yarning to him. So good. Good yarn. Yep. Anyway. Sorry, carry on. Um, Knights for Sharks, 1628. Uh, um, did I watch any of that? Can't remember. Um, anyway. Um, Rabbitohs, 28. Seagulls, 30. That sort of... Well, I think that was a all right game. Well, we, we, we definitely wouldn't have watched those games. Mm. Yeah, I was out for those games. That's we, right. I, I watched the highlights. Out. I was actually out in town. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and then obviously Indigenous All-Stars... All Games, um, Panthers twenty two, Eels sixteen. Uh, we watched that game, didn't we? Yeah, um, at the pub. At the pub, so it was it was good to watch. Um, St Helens beat the Dragons. That's no surprise there. Um, and then Sunday, I think I watched most of these games. Storm Rooters. How did how did Brand Smith go? I didn't see um, that one. He, it was he was it was a bit shaky. Wasn't he, ga- he? he gave a pen- no, he wasn't. He gave a penalty. I know that's what he said. <laughs> he he gave away a penalty first, and then he set up a try for um Vic. Vic- Big Victor Radley and um, oh yeah yeah so, so Victor and him were both playing so in the, the trial. second half um, of the game is probably about six of the main players that played oh uh, yeah so it was pretty good to see though Sa- Sammy Walker um, Jackson Polo he had a good game too man good oh a good yes try. yes that's right yeah got a um, good try I did see that in the yeah Brandon v- man Victor Radley man Joker's only twenty four and he is good man he is good oh yeah mm. he's uh, definitely good yeah so he he's yeah shit. That's um, good. Yeah, Sammy Walker had a good game too. He's um they they're, they're talking about if if my rooters are gonna you know oh, from 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 one to seventeen we have a squad and then if if as long as we're injuries yeah, are one fine of the best squads yeah we you know we've got the back line of doom they're like we've got the best back line back five in the competition. If hands you don't to, finish in the top four, that there's got to be an investigation. So they're talking about as long as the injuries <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> There's got to be an investigation. Well, there should be one anyway. Players yeah. but anyway. Yeah. So I was, no, was thinking thing about that video. You <laughs> played for the Storm. Any any of the big games? Um, yeah. So one one of the bros right at the start broke his arm. Oh, Olam. Yeah, I've seen that. Olam, Justin Olam. Yep. Um, was a few of the Kiwi boys I was quite, quite keen to watch was old William Warwick. Oh, he, he did get a go. He, he, go? he had a bit of a sh- shanky start. Just dropped, dropped some dumb, just some dumb stuff. But then he came back in the second half. He played really well. Um, Edemir, I'm not sure if he's. Because oh. that he had he had been filling in at centre, right? Yeah. Um, who else? Who else had a good throughout last year? Yeah. Um, well, Washart was he good? Yeah, Washart was actually really really good. So f- just p- probably for more the match, Jaden Nakarima had a really good um, last twenty, even though he's not Kiwi, but technically. Um, who yeah. else? His brother is, but he isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam <laughs> Welsh, he had a good game. He was um, but um, other than that, it was you know just pretty. Sc- Kind of standard sort of trial. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was good to see Jake Turpin actually play a really good game. So, um, Turps on the Turps. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that that ho uh, the ho tapu. Oh Puhu? yeah, that guy we're talking about. But he played for the Maldives last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. He played well. Just didn't do anything massively. Just because I think he was sort of the um, the guy trying to elevate a sort of young squad. Where he's yeah. still quite young, but he's mm. he's probably more prominent. Yeah. Um. So that was it was good to see about that one. Um. Doggy's get it done. Doggy's got it done. Easy. Looks like Reynolds played pretty good. Yep, yep. It was. Uh, what the Raiders have in their, uh, their lineup? So. Oh, Savage A broke his jaw. Yeah, broke his jaw. Yeah. Up for eight week. So, Danny Levi, he he went all right, pretty good. So it was good to see. Um, just for us, the Kiwi boys. There. Mahoney played. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Well, he played yeah. well. Just trying to think. Taylor Mariner. Um. Torpenny. Joseph Torpenny. Other than that, it's just hardly any, I don't think yeah. much Kiwi. Oh. I think as, as we start to get through the trials, we'll start yeah. to get more and we'll look deeper into it. It's very hard to get a read. But I think the game of the round for me was the Dolphins-Cowboys game, man. It was a close good. game, man. It, eh? was, it was a very close game and it just showed Cowboys' experience to, to finish off a game like they did. Um, Dolphins, you know, they started... What sort of strengths team? Go back up again? Oh, it's definitely not their strongest. It's team. not definitely not their strongest team, but they st- they've got heaps that they, you know, James Tamo. He probably played Hampton. Heaps. He's probably going to. He, he he might be starting six anyway. Um, but for um, from the Dolphins side of things, you know that Katoa, that seven, eighteen year old boy, yeah, Shady's going to be good, man. He 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 had a a bloody. Oh, so they had Aiken at um, yeah. centre. Yeah, Aiken at centre. I think that's what he's going to play this year. Yeah, okay. They, they've come out and said that. So, and they then um, Ray Stone, like he was, yeah. a, he was good, man. Yep. And um, he's a bad man. Was it? Is it Roderick Toy? Is that his name? Which one was that one? The number the nineteen Dolphins. for the Dolphins. He was in the Dolphins team. He had oh. he had an all good game. Oh, I can't remember him now. To be fair, but um, Roderick, I'm pretty sure his name is. I but tell you what, the, all, all, all the hype was around Valence Fuddy. Um, oh, he was on the bench. He was on the bench. How much hey, time did he get? Yeah, he got a probably about twenty-five minutes, maybe thirty yep. minutes. He um, made a few quick runs. He, he, he got that mean break. Yeah, and then the they got to try off it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's, it just shows he, he he's trying to run over people mm. the whole time. And I think once he gets that out of his game, I think that's when can't he's going to. You can't do that in NRL. So, but other than that, I, I you know the talk is around him. He's got the size, the speed, you know. So I just can't wait. You know, once he gets a bit more confident with playing league and stuff, yeah. like yeah. You know, and Sky's then, the limit. And then, um, so basically, all the Queensland teams drew with each other. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's so Reese Walsh, how did he go? I see. Um, looks like he, that. he played all right, man. Oh, I Jordan Pereira had a pretty mean game, from what I hear. Stags any good? Oh, he's just. These have named a pretty strong. Yeah, they team have. There. Stags just did Farm stag things. Is your man? Is your man? Do you know what's great scene? Oh, maybe the the four. Oh, they. Yeah, Payne Haas. Payne Haas played. Yeah, Luke Bayless. Old, um, it's pretty, yeah. It's both both teams are pretty strong. See Marty Tapao in a Broncos. How did Aaron Clark play at thirteen? To be fair, I was probably at the stage of the night where I was trying to. And in, 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 I was in Zimbabwe, I think. <laughs> but Marty, yeah, like I said, um, we'll, um, it was we were just to get through. It was early in the game, game, and Marty Tapao had the had the ball, got tackled by two, and then one of them tried to steal it off him, and it, they got penalised. And all he did was. <laughs> just get up and walk away. Mm. Tap his head. Just do the old think about yeah, it. Think about it. <laughs> it was great. Crack up. But yeah, Reese Walsh came out, 
got to try to start with. Really? The, and then Titans, they had a, um, Broncos had a drop out and they did short and no one was there for the oh, Titans, so yeah. they got it back. And it was, oh, he, Reese did mean and he got breakaway. He did real good at the start of the game. Kick faded Doom as well. Oh, yeah, oh that was crazy. That, that, that kick. Bent it. Shit. Fully bent it, Bent man. it like Beckham. Something was bent anyway. Holy moly, that was... It was a bigger bender than we had. <laughs> so do you, 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 but, you man, think about going that back, Going back to that, how funny was Dre and his noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even, luckily, N- noodles. lucky he couldn't figure out the oven because it would have been... Because he put down. his... No, no, he, it was, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, was turning turn on the oven to... Cook, to, to he said cook it because he put the packet of um, flavouring in the pot with the plastic still there. Yeah. And then you tried to turn the hob on with the oven <laughs> controls. But luckily it was all turned off at the wall. Yeah, which is great because uh, that wouldn't have been ideal. <laughs> burning, burning down the Airbnb. Don't don't um, drink and fry, is the saying, is it? Don't yes. drink and noodles. Yes. <laughs> don't drink and noodles. Um, sweet. All right. So next week's games, can we bring those up? Yep. Yep. Sorry to hear them. I just... I lost it. Round two, so it kicks off Friday night with a double header. All right. Knights v Eels. Knights Eels. Um, and then Rooters versus the Seagulls. So it's going to go quick. Who wins? Yep. Yeah, this is kind of this will be very off the cuff because who knows what team they got yeah. a bloody name. Eels will beat the Knights. Yep. Roosters beat the Eagles. Yep. All right. What's our next game? Rabies. Rabies beat the Dragons. Yep. This is going to be a good game. Yeah, St. Helens Panthers, because they'll put two strong teams out too. Ah, yes. Because yes, they is both. The actual, um, the challenge. This yeah. isn't um, this pre-season, is, this really. This is the actual yeah. club challenge. This is the. They've gone two in a row or something, eh? Hey? Or three in a row? Three Super League titles in a row, yeah. Yeah. It might be even four, bro. No, I think it's. Is it three or, or four? four? Whoa. Might be, yeah, three or four. So that's going to be a good game. I'm going to go. Oh, it's probably hard to. No, you can, because you can go tables. I don't know. They finished second. But one. Finished second, but one against it. Same with Leeds again. Oh, okay, I can go scores. What? Okay, it was go. the same with Leeds again. Okay, that's just... St. Helens Super League final. Beat Catalan Dragons. 2022. They beat... Leeds. Leeds 24-12. Oh, let's go back to 2020 then. See if they... One of them. They beat Wigan 8-4. So that's three in a row. Then 2019. <laughs> they won 23-6 against Salford. Holy moly. See, four in a row. And then, yeah, but they're on the final of the year before that and lost to Warrington in 1813. That's what? Wild. That's some. Talk about a dynasty. I'm going the what? Saints. You reckon? Yep. This is always an interesting dynamic, trying to put the Super League kind of form up against. Yeah. I mean, it's a cracker of a match. By like having Penrith, you know, final. They've been in the grand final once in the. I mean, the. Lost the grand final, then won the next two. Very similar. I guess, I think, I would say the NRL will be harder to win that many times in a row than the yeah. Super League. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, that's still you sort of give that the Super League props. Like, it, it's still a professional comp. Mm. I'm, really I was just going players. to Saints because, just because they can. Okay. I'll go Penrith still. I'll go Penrith my boy definitely. plays for them. My new best mate. I, I, have, I have a cl- Oh, Nathan Cleary. Huh? Is your mate? Jerome Luai. <laughs> um, um, Bronx, Cowboys. I'm going to go Bronx. Cowboys. Oh. I don't know. Depends what team Bronx put out against the Cowboys. Cowboys are a little bit weak at the moment, I think. Why Storm? Uh, game of the week, I reckon. Game of the weekend. Why is 13 plus? <laughs> <laughs> Why is by, um, by 20? To be fair, I th- I can see upset. I can do a, an, a pre-season upset here. I don't think Storm... Have their full a lot of players back yet? They don't. Nah. They, so they got no. They, won't. they Pe- don't have Ryan Pepinhausen. Pepinhausen. They've just lost Olam. Olam, exactly. So that's Ooh. you know. Jaja Bless probably. To be fair, that they, they, they had a young fullback debut for them. Well, not debut for them, and he was really, really tiny. Jager. Oh yeah, I seen some of his um, highlights. Jeez, what was his name? He was he was real good, man. He's actually one player I forgot to mention. Um, it must be Sia Faalongo. Is it Sia? Yeah, yeah. That is Sia Faalongo. Oh, I don't know if it's Sia, but yeah. Faalongo, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, Warriors 13 plus, baby. Warriors. We're going oh, on the street. Also, the game is in Christchurch. Oops, sorry. The game is in Christchurch. How good? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yo. Me. Um, Tiggers, Raiders. <sighs> Tarpini will be back. I don't know. Will that 
Because this, because this isn't part of that challenge, club challenge or whatever. I, is it that, not? That they might rest him. This is part of the preseason challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Panthers. Oh. I could I see Panthers naming their strongest team yeah. to beat St Helens, but. Well, this is round two. They need combinations. They have to put a, a team of good players out I there. I can see possibly the Indigenous and Maori boys. Yes. I'll, I'll go Tigers. Well, we we'll might have. A I'm rest. going. To, I'm going Tigers as well. I, I don't think. I don't think the Raiders are good enough this year. Oh, oh shit! I don't think they're good enough this year. That's my early. I just don't think they'll have yeah, but I just think in this game in particular, uh, the Maldives players won't play. Yep. Um, Bulldog oh, Sharks. Play. Well, oh. Nick Nico Hines wins. Yeah. Will they play him there? Mm. I'm going to go draw. Oh, why not? Yeah. Why, yeah, why not? not? So, and saying that Bulldog because I want to see how Burden goes. He's got Flanagan as half back. This is my upset for the weekend. Dolphins beat Titans. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go Dolphins. That's um. Shut it. Oh, this is exciting. Be interesting to see what the team looks like. Footy is back. It's back, and it's still just like it's easing in. You know, it's good. It's starting to ramp up. Super NFL is finished now for me, so I can now transition to NRL quite comfortably. It's great timing. Great, perfect timing actually. That's right. Because you need. In four hours a game to watch NFL. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Easy money, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have done your study, but have you got a best bet for the weekend? Yep. I do too. All right, best bet segment. I need to. Let Kane know we're back doing this again too, actually. Yes, we do, actually. Even Sorry, though Kane. His, even though his one was mud last week. Yeah. Tiger's 13 plus. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Bro, you, you didn't even get 13 points. <laughs> get the <laughs> hell out of here. <laughs> 13 plus against the Waz. Jeez Louise. Anyway. Best bet. Waz 13 plus. Waz 13 plus? Yep. With. Ooh. If, if Luke, pl- Luke Metcalf plays again. And Luke, Luke Metcalf anytime. Trimeter. I'm going Sean Johnson first or any time try scorer. Nice. I'm going uh, Obviously if sorry, and since I say any time you obviously still have to do the the first one as well. Yep. Um I'm actually going for the Quinella hmm? of Eels on the Friday night Quinella of Eels and Roosters. So okay, okay. Nice. Yes. Um I do have another best bet. Yes. So Pierre, best bet Pierre on Saturday. Pierre on Saturday in the Hobartville oh, Stakes. Yes. Eleven dollars. Yes. Get on. Elevens. Yeah. What's the distance to that? About that far. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't actually know. What it's further point. though than that last race, right? Yeah, I believe oh. so. Which will suit it because I did find it quite a bit at the end. Yeah, it's a finisher. So um, at eleven dollars in the Hobart Stakes over in Australia. Who's the favourite? Who's the favourite? Um, after cabin at a dollar sixty. <laughs> Easily beat that. Zoo that Zoo Tigger. It's Pinko, a, Pierre, it's Communist, a, Brosnan. Not the strongest field out. It's not the strongest field out. Get on. Elevens. Um, yes, and please. then Pierre are lining up for the Rose Two Hill weeks goodies. later. That's two weeks later, eh? Yeah, I believe. So, um, yep. yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right. Um, oh, by the way, that's my uncle's horse, if anyone is wondering. Shout out to the Weatherleys. Yeah, uh, going strong. Sam, Sam going to run it? Yeah, he's flying over... This probably week sometime. Probably not today or tomorrow, but the weather. Yeah. Sweet. Man, man, that's cool. All right. Um, you guys have anything else to add? No, I just want to say thank you to everyone that spoke to us on the weekend. And yes. Thanks to Rock and Mall. Cheers to CBK. CBK, Rock and Mall. Shout yeah. out to Sober. Just thanks to yeah. everyone that gets it amongst Instagram and that. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to get listening. a bit. Yeah, it's great for the players for interacting. Um, just to, not just players. People, I was going to say fans. And, it, and, and then it was, um, <laughs> don't know, say fans. It was, it was good to catch up with one, one of the bros from Sunday. So to the Sunday. Was you? Yeah, it was first night at CBK. Oh, the part I do remember. Let's catch up with one of the bros from. Oh, up the Sunday. So it was good, but no shit. To the Sunday, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, up the Sunday's fine too. I just want to say, um, enjoy your hongies, Sam, down in um, Christchurch. <laughs> Sakes. Fuck sakes. Fuck sake. Um, yeah, anyway, yep. Great weekend. I'm not going to crush it yet. 
He's got a couple of weeks left. Yeah. Yeah, when's Breeders? Ne- not this weekend, next weekend. Next eh? weekend. Yo, we'll I'll we'll be there if anyone's keen. Yes, because it'll be my bit of a shindig. shindig. Leaving shindig. All right, you beauty, get there. Mata Mata Breeders Stakes always goes off. Hopefully it's not raining for the lads. Um, yeah, it's probably it. Up the was. Up, 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 up the rooters. And up the was. Yeah. Up the was. Play this at the game. I didn't know. Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, that's yes, all right then. Chur. Chur. Chur.